Well, this, this will always be a good neighborhood because of our wetlands and, and the area. It'll always be good. Yeah. And this is the bottom of the market. Things are only going to go up. Now's the right time to purchase. Well, it's funny, the bottom of the market conversation. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been asked by homeowners, by prospective buyers, by friends, by family. Is, uh, so how's the market? Is this the bottom of the market? Or is it going to go any lower? And uh, my response is, is um, I don't have a crystal ball. Um, the experience that I have and it is, is tied to you know a cycle that we had in, in, in late 79 and in the early 80s where we had interest rates at 18, 19, 20 percent. 21 percent. 21 percent, I stand corrected. And um, you know we just don't have that now. You know we have borrowing rates um, in, the, in, the, in the low to, to mid six percent range um, and, and we've had a retraction. I mean uh, we've had a retraction in our assets here, here in, our, in our properties uh, in, in, across the region there's been, been a retraction and, and nationally there's been a retraction. Um, I don't know how much lower this market could go based on what cost is. Um, one of the things that I think is a real um, gauge to how low or is it going to go any lower is, is just this week I got two price increases from subcontractors and both of them were tied to their cost of, of, of operation and the, the oil prices to the, to the material that they provide. I think that that's an in indication of the inflationary concerns that the federal government has. Uh, now that's why they're talking about raising rates, uh, because of the inflationary pressure that's coming on because of the oil prices. Uh, don't you think that matters, Howard, if the price increases start coming in? Absolutely. And I think we are in the bottom. And we've seen it's coming up a little. So it, it's starting up. And with this neighborhood and being in Camas, we do have an advantage. Right, right. Yeah. Well, our, our comfort zone, and it's been one of the things that we've mentioned in, in, in prior videos, is the, is the elementary school. I mean, they start construction next month. That's going to be a, a nine to ten month process to get it completed. And next fall, in uh, September of, of 2009, literally, 100 yards from here is going to be an elementary school where the children can walk to school. You know, when I was a young boy raised up in the Heights in East Vancouver, um, my family and I lived in between two elementary schools. At one point, I walked to Lisa Elementary School. At another point, I walked to Ellsworth Elementary School. Some of my best friends for life that I still have today are the ones I met walking to school. You know, I expect that type of exchange to happen here in Life in this Meadows. You know, this is a great uh, location. It's uh, it's close to the shopping districts. We've got a, a mile and a half away on 192nd Avenue. All the great shopping districts that, that's being developed there, from Walmart to Home Depot to Penny's to Lowe's, up the street we have Whole Foods. Uh, we got Fred Meyer's. Uh, numerous uh, uh, different shops. Best Buy. You know, you name it, we've got it. it you know, this region has developed and matured uh, to where you don't have to go far to get the goods. In the neighborhood, we got the trails, and we got the school grounds, right. I mean, and we got the park, and we got the gym. I mean, and, it's just not too many have it. No, and when the kids graduate from grade school, just to the north, they're in walking distance of the middle school. Right, right, right. That's, you know, there's a lot of benefits to live here, and we'd like you to come out and take a look at it and, and appreciate the, uh, the time.